Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Who is a redhead. I am. And so she, get grabbed your butts and get your popcorn. She, here it comes. She's a little she's a little fired up uh, because the Mary Sue uh, decided to put an article out there bragging about Zendaya taking another role from a redheaded actress. I literally saw the headline from across the room and I couldn't read who was by and I said, I said right up, is this Princess Weeks? And you said, yes, it was. Because I knew for many reasons, mo but the clickbait and the fact that it's against, you know, redheads and, 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 and haters, which means white people that are redheads. Heads, I knew immediately it was gonna be her because she's the one who writes this shit all the time. Because it's okay to, to, to have represent you re must represent everyone unless they're a redhead, and then the reputation doesn't matter because you're giving more parts to black women. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the weird, and we've talked about it a little bit before the weird degingerification of comic book characters and fictional characters in Hollywood. It seems like every time a character gets race bent. It's always a redhead. Always. always a redhead. And it's not just that they do it. It's that it's done with great fanfare. In fact, there are uh, entire articles out there applauding the decision to kick another ginger to the curb. And here's the thing. I mostly don't even care as long as they keep the character ginger. Because in reality, in the real world, apparently the author didn't understand this, is that not all gingers are white. There's a lot of gingers who aren't white. Now, the majority of gingers are white, and as it is, gingers make up a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of the population. Very small, huge minority. And they are not only in white, they come in multiple colors, not just white. And I'm so tired of hearing it's like white women. I have, I have said before, just give them red hair as long as you're keeping the character redhead and you're keeping it true to the character and you're representing, I don't care. But I'm so tired of, they went from that to basically have to ra race white women with red hair and white men with red hair. Yeah, so there is a pattern here. There definitely is, is <coughs> racism. Definitely is a pattern. And this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg. I mean, I can literally think of about like two or three dozen characters just in the last 10 years that have been mm -hmm. de-gingerfied. Because, simply because they have red hair. And I, which is another thing. What are they stereotyping redheads and, and black people? The only people that can, can pull off a redhead character, because obviously if they're redhead, they're, they're, they're feisty and spunky. So that means they have to be a black person because they're feisty and spunky too. So basically they're just stereotyping all of us. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some of the comments. Actually, they kind of got called out a little bit in the comments. Let me call out the fact that their argument's stupid right off. Yeah, we're going to talk about that, too. The character they're talking about, whether or not she actually was ginger, uh, whether or not she actually was a white person. Uh, so here, 1 to 2% of the population, redheads are one of the largest unprotected minorities. They've also been attacked throughout history, not just kick a ginger day, but, you know, gingers are soulless. This ginger kicks back. This ginger does kick back. Uh, they said the Yahtzee re regime considered redheads to be demonic. It's because we get pissed. That went on to ban marriage between two redheads, believing they would produce more demonic children. That's right. Uh, so we got to get rid of those gingers because they are a threat to our purity. And uh, the Mary Sue is helping. Five more redhead roles for Zendaya to snatch from haters. Yeah, and who are the haters? Let me guess. Uh, like white redheads? You. <laughs> yeah, I'm the hater. I mean, I'm I'm a person who keeps getting more and more marginalized every day uh, so that there could be roles taken away and given to other people of other ethnicities every day. Um, based on the fact that, you know, redhead, red, red hair, white skin, even though redheads aren't always white. Um, this is stupid. This is absolutely stupid. And then the argument, her whole argument was because of, of Zendaya playing the character in Dune. By snagging the role of Chaney in the upcoming Dune film, Actress and singer Zendaya has once again continued her accumulation of redhead roles, following the long tradition of black and non-white actors snatching those roles. Right. Okay. Because you know, snatching. I love I love how you know it's it's not racism when it's, if I said let's take all the black women and replace them with redheads, what would happen? All the black actresses out there need to be replaced with redheads. And we should cheer about it. That would be racist. I would be, I would, yeah. That, and I would never say that. Well, I actually like Zendaya a lot. I would never say that because that's stupid. But here's the thing. These people have no problem saying that basically. And, and their whole takeaway is because they're white people, even though they're not all white. Yeah. So, well, we're going to talk about that. Well, we haven't gotten the Poison Ivy yet. She's on our wish, wish list. It's coming. Until then, here are five redheads Zendaya could claim as her own to further cement her position as the ginger snatcher. So it's all okay. Representation matters as long as it's representation that Princess Weeks likes. Representation like her. Now, here's the thing. Cheney, who is uh, 
uh, Muad'Dib's wife, co concubine. Not they weren't married. It's complicated. She's usually depicted as having dark hair. Um, in the book, she's described as having dark skin. So it's not uh, too much of a stretch to have Zendaya play no. her. Now, the red hair, though, threw me because I'm like, I don't remember her having uh, red hair in the books. I don't remember that. But apparently there's like one or two lines in the sequel books about her having red hair. Because her, cause her mom, they said that her daughter had red hair. Yes. Yeah, because my mom has brown hair. Uh, yeah. That doesn't make the, you know the kid a redhead because you know or the parent a redhead because the kid has red hair. So this okay, so this shows that one you know because the Fremen were actually most of them as I always understood it from the books were supposed to be darker skinned people. Right. right? So she's not snatching jack shit. She really isn't because she actually is a darker skinned actress. Uh, if anything, if anything, Sean Young was snatching the role yeah, from that, a Yeah, I agree with that. So I'm like, <laughs> no. there's no snatching going on here. And the thing is, I honestly don't even care about like other actresses of different ethnicities playing redheads, as long as I give them the damn red hair. Uh, that's all I can, you know, you're still getting representation for redheads. I mean, it might not be a white redhead. I really don't care about that. I just want the redhead representation. So the purpose of the article then, if, if this has been proven false, and actually people in the comments were even like, where the hell are you getting this from? The whole purpose is to basically throw shade and she could rewrite this headline to better reflect what she's actually saying, which is five more white roles for Zendaya to snatch from people who the don't white, like- The white women who have red hair. Yes. Because it's okay It's okay if you if you marginalize people as long as they're being marginalized for non-white people and, and black women. Right, but Cheney is not a white character. So this is kind of dumb. Other roles that she would like to see snatched from from the hate. We don't have that many left anyway, so she won't be happy till there's no representation for redheads at all. I, as long as she has representation and I have none, then she'll be happy. That's called bigotry and racism. Lilith from Sandman. Man, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel because all the I'll, we'll show you here. We've yeah, got Daria. Daria. We got Quinn Morgan Durfer from Daria. How old is this person? Does anybody remember freaking Daria? Nobody remembers that. It was a the bad spinoff of uh, Beavis and Butthead. Um, here, because all the major redheads in comics they've already been degingered. So now we got to scrape the bottom of the effing barrel. Um, Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. She's a doll. Are they going to give her a red wig and paint her blue? She's blue. But then again, you know, uh, Starfire's technically orange, and they didn't, you know, she's not white either. Uh, this is the big one. Yeah, Mar Mara Jade. Mara Jade Skywalker. But actually, I can see Zendaya playing Mara Jade. Oh, over Brie Larson. Oh, hell yeah, over Brie Larson. I mean, I can yeah. see Zendaya pulling it off. But, you know, and I, I, I just, again, you know, she just, this is deliberate just to try to troll and to, to be, so I'm going to make the haters mad. By haters, I mean women that, and men who are white with red hair. Yes. Because I'm already insulting them. I'm already belittling them. Already, I'm, I'm already bragging about how we're marginalizing them more. Marginalization is bad. Unless you're doing it to a white person. Yeah, that's exactly what the purpose of the article is. Because like I said, you can shoot down her argument right out of the gate because Cheney was not a white character. Yeah, the Mary Sue was the site that was having a shit fit over Buffy the Vampire Slayer being cast as a black woman. There is that. That was... Okay, so if it doesn't mean anything to you, you know, uh, it's okay to take the, the, the magic marker to it and write, scribble all over it. If it's Boomer stuff or Gen X stuff... Uh, feel free, have at it. But if it's something you grew up with, don't you dare touch it. Yeah, they had the massive hissy fit over that. I think it was Princess have... Weeks, too, that actually had Was it? Fit. I thought it might have been the, one of the other chicks. I don't remember. Well, well, well. well. Hypocrisy <laughs> Central. I don't want a black Buffy. I don't want black Buffy, says Princess Weeks. Why is her reason for not wanting black Buffy? She doesn't want hand-me-downs. Oh, but it's okay to take redhead hand-me-downs. Having a black showrunner and casting a black actress will not give ownership of the series to this new incarnation. So casting a black person as a redhead role, how does that give ownership of the role? If that's your argument for this, you know, how are you making that argument for that? Uh, because it means something to her, I think. Um, I don't know. It's this is this is the Mary. You're trying to make sense of the Mary Sue. The Mary Sue, basically, whatever they think is going to whack the beehive that day. It's not okay to race Ben Buffy 
But you can race bend all the redheads and we encourage it because they're just redheads and they deserve to be race bent because, you know, it's okay if you race bend another minority. They said that Buffy is such a beloved show that it's going to be too hard for a black actress to come in and take over the role. They said it would be better if it were a spinoff series with a new Slayer, a new black Slayer. Which well, I don't disagree with that, but I'm just saying it, it, it's just, you know, wait, you, so you can't do that because it would be hard to do it, but you do it for everything else. We saw it with Shira. We see it with all these characters that are traditionally redheads that just been changed for no oh, reason. Oh, yeah, I forgot whatsoever, about Whatsoever, yep. whatsoever, they change them. And that's okay, because that's the representation she wants. But when she doesn't want the representation that she, you know, it's not something she wants, then it's bad. You shouldn't, you shouldn't race bend characters like that. What are you thinking? Queen Elizabeth. Uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense in that period. She's a real white person, but imagine Zendaya in those outfits. What, so the redheads that were white weren't real white people? Her argument is basically, they all should be should be black because I say so, except for Queen Elizabeth. I know she should be white, but white, that's her argument. White people aren't real people. That's right. That's, we're not real. We're imaginary. We it's okay. It's okay as long as, you, it's okay to pick on people that are make up a small percentage of the population as long as it's a smaller percent than you have. Well, that's just it. Because again, redheads are, are a very small minority. But I think, I think what gets me about this is not that they keep doing it um, and it does suck, but the, the media just keeps cheering it on. You know, they love it. They love it. Like, check this out. This article, this is written in 2015. This is a very 2015 article. You get to the bottom. Man, these ethics will never be satisfied until they run all of Hollywood and ruin all of our redheaded comic book icons. Ha, 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 ha. I don't find it funny. Yeah. Um, can you imagine replacing that with any other? If I said the same thing, if I, okay, fine, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm the one being being mocked and, and replaced here. Man, these ethnics will never be satisfied until they run all of Hollywood and ruin all of our black comic book icons. Ouch! You can't say that. Want to bet? I just did. Okay, so that because you know what it doesn't really. What makes me so mad is it, I. I'm always one who I don't really care you know what color you are or what gender you are what sexual orientation you are i'm not one who does but what i do care about is when you're just changing things for the sake of changing them um and then you're you're you for representation's sake but then but only that only applies to certain people you're changing things for representation's sake but you don't care about taking representation away from somebody else yeah um well people call it out they actually call it out in the comments Good, they should take this person to task i know i am um, they, you know, they talk about how in comics, red hair was an easy way to... But well, that wasn't untrue. No, that wasn't untrue to color supporting characters. But this one here, uh, there aren't that many talented redheaded actors out there. Natural redheaded actors. Right, because, you know, dyeing people's hair for a part never happened. <laughs> um, but uh, it's interesting. They go on to talk about how... Well, this this is what you know brought up the uh, conversation about whether or not... Uh, Cheney was actually a redhead. Said I've read Dune countless times, and never once picked up on Cheney as being a redhead, mostly because the ethnic coding for the Fremen it always had them uh, more ethnic. Um, her red hair is mentioned in Children of Doom. Yeah, I'm one line indirectly. Like again, my mother has brown hair. I have red hair. Yeah, so I had to double check it myself. I, I didn't even, I'm like, wait, where are they getting this from? Because I always pictured her, like every film adaptation always had her with black hair. No, they're just trying to find reasons to go out there and be like, ha ha, ha in Reaching. your face, ha ha ha, we stole more redheads. Real quick before we move on to something else, I wanted to point out too, you're talking about Amber Heard and about, you know, the dye job and stuff and Amber Heard. I, I, I don't like the really fake red hair. But there's a lot of people who have the really fake red hair go around and call themselves redheads. And as long as they're representing the redheads, I, I have no problem with it. Like, I don't care if you dye people's hair red, and either they're not white. It's fine with me as long as you're still getting redhead, represent, red, redhead representation. I mean, it's nice to see characters that look like me. And I am pale skinned because a lot of redheads are very fair. But that's not always the case. Yeah, see, look at this. Uh, look at this. Uh, and they point out, too, that the Fremen aren't white. Yeah, they were never, I don't think, ever coded as white they had white actors actually playing them in the other movies but the fremen were supposed to be like space middle eastern people right? apparently i was been cool in egypt yeah see redheads were celebrated in egypt natural well, blondes are still a thing in what iran about that girl in solo yeah her hair's red and she's not white I imagine that imagine that um so yeah i agree with marcus here this article is praising the concept and while it's always nice to see more people like me on stream on screen why do we keep casting black people's redheads i don't know but it's i weird. told you why it's because they're trying to stereotype both of us 
Yep, they said Hollywood's never going to admit it, but it's easier for them to just race Ben instead of making new stories with POC and them from the get-go, which is insulting as hell as a person of uh, color. Yes, and I've, I've called that out. I said before, have I not? I don't think, I think it's insulting to people, not just, you know, POCs, but people that are, you know, aren't straight or, you know, identify as something else that, you know, that you're, you're not giving them new characters. Like, and then they did give them new characters. They made them safe space and snowflake. I mean, that's even more insulting. It's like you're deliberately going out to insult people. Yeah, it's, it is. it is. Um, but in this case, this is like, I mean, her whole argument completely crumbles because Cheney is not a white redhead. Right. But it doesn't matter. She just wanted She's a reason wanted to it. attack redheads. But if I just look for a reason to attack people that weren't white, oh my God, which I would never do. Because, you know, I have actual something called class and I would not actually do that. I'm she not, I'm class. not, I'm not a bigoted racist that I would have, that I would have to go around, you know, belittling people based on the color of their skin. So there we go. Zendaya is not really the ginger snatcher after all. Just another reason for the Mary Sue to throw some shade, get some digs in there, get some ad clicks, because God knows they need that now because the ad revenue is dropping. I don't care how much you ginger snatch, you still can't beat ginger snap. All right, we're going to wrap it up. That's right. Oh, I'm so pissed. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.